my name is Alex Sidwich. I'm also a product manager here at Milwaukee for the drilling and driving team on the accessory side of the business. I'm extremely excited to talk to you guys today about the second step in framing a utility pool, which is using that utility socket that we spoke about, a shockwave lineman's three-in-one utility socket. So once the lineman finishes drilling their desired diameter pole with our shockwave lineman's auger bit, the next step of the process is to grab our, our utility socket and fasten the hardware to the pole. So Ali kind of walked through some of the different aspects of hardware that are on the pole, like the cross arm, the transformer, you have the lighting arrestor over here as well, and there's a lot of other different applications. However, all these different parts of hardware are going to be fastened to the pole with a machine bolt, very similar to this. It's going to be square drive on the top, you have a square nut that you're fastening with the utility socket to the bottom as well. The number of lengths that come in this, it's actually going to range from 2 inches all the way up to 32 inches in length, depending on where you're at on the pole fastening the hardware, as well as what type of hardware you're fastening to the pole. So while there's a vast array of lengths of these machine bolts, there's really only five different diameters that you'll find on the pole, which you can see way down here on the right, this little bar graph here. These five sizes are going to be half an inch, five eighths, three quarter, seven eighths, and then as large as one inch in diameter. These three sizes here will be for your distribution poles. So the residential wooden poles like these that you'll see outside your house. Whereas the middle size and then the two on the far right are what we call transmission. It's the larger wooden application where you see maybe like the lattice towers or the large two, two, uh, two pole towers that are going down the side of the highway. That's what transmission is. Now, I want to kind of step into the lineman's shoes real quick and look at what their current solutions are. So I'm going to pass out the right-handed glove here. If you want to stick your hand in there and kind of feel what they're feeling on a day-to-day -day basis when they're using a competitive utility socket. A common solution for lineman today is going to be a 3 one utility socket that's double-sided, very similar to this. In the industry, it's referred to as a dog bone. Any idea why? It kind of looks like a dog bone, right? But ideally, you know, they're up in the bucket, they're 40, maybe 50, 60 feet in the air. They're working in the elements, it's raining, it could be snowing, sleeting, hailing, and you are in a very confined space. Again, in a bucket, you have all these accessories, you have the hardware that you're going to be placing on the utility pool itself. It's very hard to move. You have live wires above you, and you're wearing these gloves, which as you'll be able to see, severely affects your dexterity. So for the competitive unit, in order to switch from size to size for these machine bolts we just went through, the common solution today is to grip it and you actually need to remove the socket from the adapter and flip it and reconnect. So again, you're wearing gloves, very little amount of dexterity, you're 50 feet in the air, what do you think is possible that can happen when this is removed from the end of the socket adapter? Gravity, yeah, you're right, you can drop just like that and kill somebody. Obviously not ideal, right? So when it comes to the overall number one priority for utility companies and for linemen, it's obviously safety. This solution, which is the most common solution in the industry today, obviously not the right, not the right solution for the linemen. So after speaking to linemen, going to training facilities, going out on the job site, what we found is that there's obviously an opportunity to innovate and give them what they're looking for, which is a more secure, efficient, fastening solution. And what we've developed with our engineers is going to be a three-in-one single-sided socket. So we've taken that double-sided socket, same size as a square, but we've taken that into the same side of the socket. So again, it removes that overall need to remove the socket from the adapter, eliminating that drop hazard completely. So as you can see here, there's this extended smaller, smaller square. By simply turning it and twisting it, you can go to the other two square holes. The second feature here is going to be our push and twist barrel lock design, which you kind of already saw me use. Again, while wearing gloves, you want to make sure you have as much surface area as possible to make sure it's a very easy side switch. So by gripping it, pushing it forward, and turning it, you're able to lock it into place much more efficiently. The third feature here is going to be an interior debris shield. You can't really see it from the outside, but it's protecting the inside of this mechanism here from all of that type of moisture, dust, dirt, and all those corrosive materials that you'll find out on the job site um, with a lineman you're working day in and day out. Also, half inch square drive. So being half inch square drive, this can chuck up directly into a half inch impact wrench, 
or it also all the different sockets that we're coming out with the distribution and transmission will come with a 716s hex to have the square impact socket adapter as well. What this allows them to do is chuck it up into their tool of choice, the 716s high torque impactor. So when it comes to the overall adapter, there's some frustrations on that side of the business as well. It's not just the socket itself. And a lot of those frustrations really do revolve around the overall durability of the shank. What we've seen today is a lot of competition can actually break on a couple after a couple different facets. We've talked to some linemen where they go through 52 socket adapters a year, averaging about one a week in these high demand applications. It's not only a financial burden, but you can also talk about safety there as well, because they're breaking during the application. So if that socket adapter breaks, the socket's again gonna fall to the ground. So what we've done is we set out to make a more durable, or the most durable, socket adapter on the market with better retention to the socket. You can see here this white tombstone here at the bottom, this piece of uh, banner, or POV, what we call it. It's actually going to be part of the Shockwave line. And being part of Shockwave, it's going to be at most durable kind of an accessory, right? We're taking some of those learnings that we have from our Shockwave driver bits and applying them to this impact socket adapter. We also have a pin detent design with our 760 for that. Some of the competition actually is offering a ball detent, the one I just showed you. Because of that ball detent, they need that design so that you can remove it from the actual adapter and flip it very easily. But it's obviously not better when it comes to the overall retention of the socket. So that's the number one, it's one of the number one user needs when it comes to the socket adapter in mind for totally alignment is to have a pin detent adapter. And that's what we're giving them. So not only will the socket adapter be packaged with the socket itself, it will also be packaged individually, and then also in bulk packs of 10 for your larger utility companies. But I want to kind of walk through how you would use this in an application, and then as well kind of walk through the different bolts and where they're used on the bolt. We'll start with the distribution side here for size. The smallest size bolt again is half inch. Most common location you'll find this is going to be on brace bolts uh, for, for cross arms, so cross arm brace bolts. You also find these in hard bed applications. But the two larger sizes for distribution, 5 8 3 quarter, those are going to be your most commonly used machine bolts. About 90% of the bolts on a bolt will be these two sizes. So the bolts used to fasten the cross arm to the actual bolt or the transformer to the bolt are going to be these larger sizes. So again, with this 3 in 1 socket, simply push it down, line it up, you're able to reverse. Then you go up to the next two sizes, you use that push and twist barrel lock by lifting it up, twisting it a quarter turn, and you're ready to go on the next two sizes. So again, it's very important to mention as well that they're not just constructing the poles, as Ali had mentioned before, they're also removing cross arms and placing new ones, moving, uh, removing arresters, placing new ones. So they're not only fastening, they're also removing these poles as well. 